You guys sounded amazing. Thank you for singing along with us. Now we're gonna take some time to watch a Bible story together. And like I said earlier, today is about Elijah and the prophets of Baal. So let's check it out. King Ahab and his evil queen Jezebel had led Israel astray by worshiping other gods. The land was gripped by a terrible drought. While the prophets of God had been under siege by Jezebel's orders to kill them, the worship of Baal had flourished. Elijah, God's prophet, demanded to see Ahab. Ahab went to meet Elijah, and when he saw him, Ahab shouted, There you are, the biggest troublemaker in Israel. Elijah answered, You're the troublemaker, not me. You and your family have disobeyed the Lord's commands by worshiping Baal. Call together everyone from Israel and have them meet me on Mount Carmel. Be sure to bring along the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at Jezebel's table. Ahab got everyone together. Then they went to meet Elijah on Mount Carmel. Elijah stood in front of them and said, How much longer will you try to have things both ways? If the Lord is God, worship him. But if Baal is God, worship him. The people did not say a word. Then Elijah continued, I am the Lord's only prophet, but Baal has 450 prophets. Bring us two bulls. Baal's prophets can take one of them, kill it, and cut it into pieces. Then they can put the meats on the wood without lighting the fire. I will do the same thing with the other bowl and I won't light a fire under it either. The prophets of Baal will pray to their God and I will pray to the Lord. The one who answers by starting the fire is God. That's a good idea, everyone agreed. Elijah said to Baal's prophets, there are more of you, so you go first. Pick out a bowl and get it ready, but don't light the fire. Then pray to your God. They chose their bowl. Then they got it ready and prayed to Baal all morning, asking him to start the fire. They danced around the altar and shouted, answer us, Baal. But there was no answer. At noon, Elijah began making fun of them. Pray louder, he said. Baal must be a god. Maybe he's daydreaming or, or using the toilet or, or traveling somewhere. Or maybe he's asleep and you have to wake him up. The prophets kept shouting louder and louder and they cut themselves with swords and knives until they were bleeding. This was the way they worshiped and they kept it up all afternoon. But there was no answer of any kind. Elijah told everyone to gather around him while he prepared the Lord's altar. Then he used 12 stones to build an altar in honor of the Lord. Each stone stood for one of the tribes of Israel, which was the name that the Lord had given their ancestor, Jacob. Elijah dug a ditch around the altar large enough to hold about 13 quarts. He placed the wood on the altar, and then they cut the bowl into pieces and laid the meat on the wood. He told the people, fill four large jars with water and pour it over the meat and the wood. After they did this, he told them to do it two more times. They did exactly as he said until finally the water ran down the altar and filled the ditch. When it was time for the evening sacrifice, Elijah prayed, Our Lord, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Now prove that you are the God of this nation and that I, your servant, have done this at your command. Please answer me so that these people will know that you are the Lord God and you will turn their hearts back to you. The Lord immediately sent fire and it burned up the sacrifice, the wood, and the stones. It scorched the ground everywhere around the altar and dried up every drop of water in the ditch. When the crowd saw what had happened, they all bowed down and shouted, the Lord is God, the Lord is God. The end. 